Have you ever wondered if ghosts truly exist? A question that haunts many a curious mind. Ghosts, spirits, spectres, phantoms, whatever you choose to call them, have been a topic of fascination for centuries. It might surprise you to learn that a significant proportion of Americans, 41% to be exact, say they believe in ghosts. Even more intriguing, one in five claim to have had personal experiences with these ethereal beings. But does the existence of ghosts hold up under the scrutiny of scientific examination? The human brain is a complex organ, constantly interpreting sights and sounds around us. It's a tireless workhorse, ceaselessly making sense of our environment. But what happens when this interpretation goes a bit astray? Well, that's when things start to get spooky. Imagine walking down a dimly lit corridor. The walls are lined with portraits. Their eyes seem to follow you. A chill runs down your spine. The hair on your neck stands up. You hear a creak, a whisper, perhaps a sigh. Your mind races. You think, is this a ghostly encounter? But what if I told you it's your brain playing tricks on you? Our brains are wired to recognize patterns and familiar shapes, a phenomenon known as pareidolia. So when we see a shadow or an oddly shaped object, our brain tries to make sense of it, often leading us to see faces, figures or apparitions where there are none. This could explain why those portraits' eyes seem to follow you or why you saw a figure in the corner of your eye. Similarly, infrasound sound waves with frequencies below the lower limit of human audibility can cause feelings of discomfort, dread, or even the sensation of being watched. These sounds are often produced by natural phenomena like earthquakes or by man-made sources like engines. So that chill you felt? It could have been a passing truck or a minor tremor. Now, what about all the evidence captured by ghost hunters. Well, the truth is it's often ambiguous and inconclusive. Grainy images, distorted sounds, these can easily be the result of technical limitations or environmental factors. And our brain, ever the pattern seeker, fills in the gaps, leading us to see or hear things that may not be there. So we see that our brains, coupled with technological limitations, can sometimes lead us to believe in the eerie and the supernatural. But remember, just because we perceive something doesn't necessarily make it real. After all, seeing is believing, or is it? While personal experiences can be compelling, they are not always reliable indicators of reality. This is a truth we must remember when considering the existence of ghosts. Our senses, while remarkable, are inherently limited. They are shaped by our perceptions, biases, and the context of our experiences. A shadow in the corner of our eye can easily become a phantom in a dimly lit room, especially if we are already bracing for something eerie. External factors can further influence our senses. The power of suggestion, for instance, can be incredibly potent. If you enter a supposedly haunted house expecting to see a ghost, your mind might just grant your expectation. You could mistake the creaking of an old floorboard for spectral footsteps, or the whistling of the wind for ethereal whispers. Our brains are wired to find patterns and make sense of the world, sometimes even when there's nothing to make sense of. That's why scientific skepticism and critical thinking are crucial when examining supposed paranormal events. They allow us to question our initial perceptions and consider alternative explanations. A cold spot in a room could be a draft, not a ghost. An unexplained noise could be the house settling, not a phantom knocking. The faint figure in a photograph could be a trick of the light, not an otherworldly apparition. While we cannot disprove the existence of ghosts, it becomes clear that more plausible explanations often lie hidden beneath the surface of our ghostly encounters. So the next time you think you've had a brush with the supernatural, take a moment to question what you're experiencing. The answer might be more mundane than you think, but no less fascinating. So what can we infer from our deep dive into the spectral realm? Our journey has taken us through the intriguing corridors of the human psyche and its role in creating perception of spectres. We've explored how our brain, the master weaver of our realities, can sometimes spin tales of ghostly apparitions from the ordinary sights and sounds around us. We've also pondered over the elusive nature of recorded evidence. Despite the ubiquity of recording devices in our technologically advanced era, definitive proof of phantoms continues to be as elusive as the apparitions themselves. The evidence we do have is often open to interpretation, leading us down the rabbit hole of ambiguity and subjectivity. However, we've underscored the importance of skepticism and critical thinking. We've reminded ourselves 
that while it's thrilling to entertain the idea of otherworldly entities, it's equally crucial to consider more plausible explanations for these so-called paranormal events. So, are ghosts real? Well, the jury's still out on that one. But one thing is certain, the exploration of this topic is as fascinating as it is eerie. To continuously be enlightened, like and subscribe.